Welcome back to Portside with the Pilots. Last year was a dream season for the Portland men's cross country team. Another West Coast Conference Championship, plus the team's first ever podium finish at NCAA Nationals, made it a year to remember. The Pilots return two of their top five finishers from Nationals this fall and mix that with a young yet experienced nucleus and the Portland Harriers will be looking to make it 11 straight trips to the NCAA championships. Everybody has been uh, training diligently this summer with the intent of getting back to the national meet. Luckily we have two experienced uh, veterans that have done really well. That's Timo who has finished 44th and Danny who's finished uh, 59th. So that's a really great start to a nucleus of a national qualifying team is to have two high placers at the nationals returning. Looking at last year, since we lose five out of our top seven, people don't expect much from us, I'm, I'm assuming so. So it'd be nice to just prove those people wrong. It should be something to look forward to, to be honest. I don't have to motivate the team. The team's already you know, highly motivated. Uh, first of all, that they're getting their chance this year. It's wide open. We have a wide open team. We have two returning guaranteed guys, and then we have five spots open on the varsity. So the team's motivated, ready to roll. Looking at last year, I think I was about 10 seconds off of being an All-American. So, I mean, I was happy with last year's days, but then when you look at that, it's kind of like, you know, you know, I was right there. It just put the, puts things into perspective to think, you know, if I did that last year, I honestly think top 20 is a, a reality. He's fulfilled everything I thought he would be so far, but there's still another big carrot ahead, and that's All-American. That's the goal. His mom was an All-American runner in college, Division I, at the University of Houston. So I know uh, it's important for him to try and uh, catch up with his mom. My mom was an All-American. I actually saw her All-American certificate right before I left, and I kind of, I think it was 1988 at the University of Houston. So I just looked at that for motivation before I came back, and my dad, um, he, did, he ran marathons. His best finish, I'd say, was uh, was ninth at the Olympic trials, I think in 90, I think it was 96, I wanna say. But yeah, he's always been, you know, a longer distance type of guy. And I think, you know, just to have that, kind of that DNA inside, it kind of gives me that, that extra edge, you know? I think the two biggest things we have to do is stay away from sickness and stay away from injury, okay? We're gonna train as hard as we need to train to get the job done. That's a constant, we, there's no wiggle room there. We don't train easier to avoid injury. We will emphasize those two things all year with the guys we have coming back.